Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Michigan Wolverines continue to build a special class in 2024, landing four-star edge rusher Jacob Smith from the state of Connecticut, top 20 edge player in this 2024 class, twin brother of already Michigan commit Jared Smith. And you take a look at the Michigan defensive line in this 2024 class, you have to be absolutely thrilled with not only the talent, but the depth of this group, like you're going to have a lot of guys playing on the inside and on the edge that can really get after the quarterback and really kind of be game wreckers. And that's a position that you have to be deep in and Michigan certainly doing that in this 2024 class. Now, before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys and obviously got the, the, the Michigan quarter zip on for this one. You guys know we rock with Michigan trying to cover all these commitments for you guys and just want to say thank you. To all the Michigan fans that have been tuning in, it's obviously been a very, very fun last couple months to talk about Michigan on the recruiting trail, and you guys are showing a ton of support. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And let's get into Jacob Smith. And before we do, I want to talk Jacob Smith first and, and dig into the film. What's he going to bring to Michigan? And then I want to talk about the last couple targets on Michigan's board. They already have a massive class. But there are a few guys left that I think really can take this Michigan class in 2024 to the next level. But let's talk about Jacob Smith first. And the first thing I want to say is Michigan is doing a really good job balancing the type of edge rushers that we're getting in this class, right? You have a guy like Dominic Nichols, who's more of the heavy-handed guy who will be really, really good in the run game. And then you have guys like Jacob Smith, Elias Rudolph. I think Devin Baxter could be thrown into that. Where the, the twitchy edge guys who maybe need to put on some weight but the burst and bend that they have off the line of scrimmage is something you got to be really excited for. And Jacob Smith might have the best juice out of all of these guys in this edge class. You take a look at the film, and you're going to see what I think is a really polished edge rusher, but a guy that has so much upside in terms of what he can do with his athleticism and his bend and burst around that tackle. And I, I really like, I mean, Jacob Smith's been high on our board. For a while, we've talked about him for a while, knows how to use his hand. And another thing you're going to see, just an endless motor, kind of like what I mean, what made Aiden Hutchinson so special. And I'm not going to comp him to Aiden Hutchinson, but partly why Aiden Hutchinson was such a special pass rusher, that dude had a motor that was bar none. And Jacob Smith, you see the motor like this dude does not take plays off. He's continuing to get after it every single play. And again, I, I think what's most exciting is the versatility and his get off off the line of scrimmage, the ability to go speed the power. Like you take a look and relook at this rep. I mean, his get off, he's beating every other defensive lineman by a mile in terms of the get off. And then being able to transition that speed right through to the power of that offensive tackle and just get right to the quarterback. That's what's really exciting. Like the burst bend, but he also has the ability to go speed the power, the closing speed to finish out the sack. Jacob Smith is really exciting, and this is another really fun play to watch because you see the versatility too. Like in this Michigan defense, gone are the days of Don Brown. You are asking your Michigan edge defenders to do a lot of different things in this Jesse Minter scheme, Mike McDonald scheme, kind of whatever you want to call it. Remember when Dylan Harrell had to pick up Kate Stover on that fourth and two and ended up breaking a play 20 yards, down, breaking up a pass 20 yards down the field? This kind of reminds me of that, and we're going to ask our edge defenders to do that sort of thing. And Jacob Smith showing it on the film, kind of playing the off ball linebacker role. He ends up carrying a tight end up the seam here. And you get really excited to see the closing speed and the ability to play the football and go cause an interception. That was a massive play that Jalen Harrell made less than 12 months ago. And you see it a little bit on the film with Jacob Smith. And again, can do so many different things, can play stand up, can put his hand in the dirt. What I love most is just the ability to use his hands and the ability to penetrate and get in the backfield. Jacob Smith, a phenomenal get for the Michigan Wolverines. And again, you see the get, like, this is what I kind of want to focus on is his get off. Like he makes everyone look like they get off the ball slow. Like, he's just a really, really good at getting after the football, getting his hands on passes. He's a playmaker. He's a twin brother of Jared Smith. I, I think you're really excited to get Jacob Smith in the boat. And now you look at this 2024 class, and you look at how complete the class is. Starting at the quarterback spot, you obviously have the quarterback of the future in Jaden Davis. You have some really good pass catchers. And I say pass catchers because two of our best pass catchers in this class are tight ends, Brady Prescorn and Hogan Hansen. We have a phenomenal offensive line, really two really good running backs in Jordan Marshall and Micah Capanna. You look at that offense, you're feeling really good. 
right? Quarterback check, offensive line check, offensive playmakers check, running backs, pass catchers. And then you look at the defensive side of the ball, the defensive line in the, in the linebacker room. I love it. Like you take a look at who we have on that defensive line, guys like Jared Smith, Jacob Smith, and then the linebackers, like we're going with some lighter linebackers who are going to be a little bit more athletic. You pair that up with some really hammers on the defensive line. Those linebackers are going to be able to get after it. So that front seven of the defense is really set. Now the last piece of the puzzle for Michigan, I think in this 2024 class is that secondary, right? Jaden Smith might play safety. I think he's going to play linebacker. You have Jacob Odin, who I absolutely love from the home state of Michigan. That being said, the one position that we've been kind of missing out on with a lot of our key targets, remember Bryce West, Jameer Grimsley, Terry Nichols, all going somewhere else, that cornerback spot, right? Everything else, this 2024 class is really complete. It's deep at all these positions besides that secondary, specifically the cornerback spot. And that's where I want to take us to, in my mind, the biggest name on Michigan's board. And it's not just because it's a battle with Ohio State. It's because we need to get a cornerback in this class. Aaron Scott, one of the best cornerbacks in the country. I want to talk a little bit about Aaron Scott pushing back his commitment date. And I think that's a good thing for Michigan. I've seen a lot of buzz and this is kind of getting into the weeds a little bit. He pushes back his commitment to the end of July. He was supposed to come in on July 4th. I think that's a good thing because throughout the whole spring and early summer, he was an Ohio State lean. And then he takes his official visit to Michigan. He was wearing Michigan gloves at the 7-on-7 last weekend. I think him pushing back a month of his decision date, it kind of says that he's really thinking about this. And I think for so long, he was such an Ohio State lean. You see all the crystal balls being logged for Ohio State. Him pushing it back, I think, shows that Michigan is kind of in the really in it for Aaron Scott. And if we can land Aaron Scott, one of the best cornerbacks in this 2024 class, you suddenly look at this group and you feel really, really good about it. And then we have Zaquan Patterson, who is pushing back his whole timeline. Like he probably won't be committing till the fall. He's another guy at that safety spot that really could be a massive get for Michigan. You land one of those two guys, specifically Aaron Scott at that cornerback spot. You're looking at this 2024 class and you're fired up. And the last guy I want to talk about, and this is a, another big one, I think is Jordan Ship, who's committing later this weekend, July 16th. Jordan Ship, a, a bigger body guy who can work the boundary. He plays ball at Providence Day with commits Jaden Davis and Shannon Goodwin. He would be another great addition. You're battling UNC. You're battling NC State for him. Jordan Ship, I want. I want Aaron Scott a little bit more as a Michigan fan. But, man, if you can land one of those two guys, you're looking at a really, really good class in 2024, specifically on the trenches. And that's how Michigan's been winning the last two years. Like You look at why Michigan's beating Ohio State, making the college football playoffs, it's because they're dominating both sides of the ball in terms of the trenches. They have a 2024 class that looks like they'll certainly be doing that. And if you're a Michigan fan, I mean, I'm fired up about this class and what it's looking like. But if we can land Aaron Scott, that kind of is the cherry on top that kind of keeps us in that top five. And we know the player development has been massive. So you take a top five class, you match it with the player development and the culture that is in this Michigan program. Michigan, I think it has some sticking power at top of the Big Ten and quite frankly, at the top of the country. And as a Michigan fan, I'm absolutely fired up about what this team could be in the future as well as in 2023. Again, appreciate you guys checking us out. The Michigan fans, you've been rocking with the boys. We appreciate you guys. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we have another update on Sunday with Jordan Ship, and we'll talk to y'all later.